What's going on, good people? Ebibs here, Mr. Remote Life. So we got a quick and easy one today. I am doing an install with these products uh, for a customer that I'm going to be installing this week uh, as part of their their home audio system. Um, quick backstory on it: They purchased a home. It uh, already was pre-wired with the whole house audio system, but the entire house was technically one zone. So that's why I, I spec them out just one amp and an audio port. So uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go through the quick setup because I haven't really seen a lot of uh, videos on the, basically the audio port because I know this is a newer product. The amp has been out for a while, uh, but now they're coming in like in white and stuff. So this is a Ubiquiti uh, power amp and the audio port. So just getting some information on these two guys and the reasoning behind my install with this uh, with this product. So I have on the desk here. Uh, it's just a quick setup. I'm in my I'm in my son's like space or whatever uh, while I work on my office in my studio space. But um, we got a couple of Triad R28s. So it's an eight inch in ceiling speaker. I kind of yanked them out of the ceiling because I'm replacing them with something else. So if you guys are interested in, in purchasing those from me, I I do carry those. The, the triad line so i am a uh, an authorized dealer for triad and uh we carrying this stuff too so there's some new products that i'm going to be using and let's get right into it so uh, of course these things come all ubiquity stuff comes like like apple it's like really simple uh so this thing is going to come with just the unit and a uh a power brick so we're going to do a simple install because this client actually does not have a unify setup in their home so what i got is a little portable um, hot spot that we're going to use and plug up to this thing and get that set up that way so it'll look like it'll, it'll operate like a man that is just so nice how that comes it will operate like a just a one-off uh, wi-fi network so check this out so just opens up and boom there's your amp and she's she's nice and meaty this thing has it has great reviews so uh and what does this come with this comes with power cable and a couple banana plugs for your terminals set there so probably what i do is i probably just use these cables uh, for them and let's go ahead and install that now so let me get that set up and then we'll uh since this is an unboxing this is actually a a use case uh video so uh let's cut right to that all right guys so we have this thing all set up and this is basically how i'm gonna have it setting so it's gonna be sitting on their desk and it has like the little jog wheel in there and whatnot so um of course you got to set it up so you have to use the unify play app which looks something like this. So, uh, and it already found it because I'm on the same small network with this hotspot as this one. So I'm going to set this up. It already sees the power amp and it sees the, it sees the power amp and it sees the uh, audio port. So we can go ahead and set both of these up. Great thing is it grabs Bluetooth on the power amp and it sees the audio port on the network. So scanning for network. Jump in there. All right, so once this thing all gets all set up, you get the green checks on the two devices and uh, do, 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 still waiting on the power amp to get where it's going. And it's probably gonna have to do a firmware upgrade, so of course, with any IoT device, you want to upgrade firmware. It's the first thing that you do as soon as you hook these things up. Um, but let's while we're on that, these banana plugs are actually pretty cool. Uh, it's solid metal all the way through from the housing to everything. Everything is metal, and they have a lot of weight to them. So it feels very, very nice. Um, wonder how, how well they're going to produce some audio. I got what, this is 18 gauge or no, 14 gauge cable. So should be pretty good. Um, and I know these R28s are, they crank. So I really am a triad man. I, I, I love the way these things sound. <clears throat> 
So let's uh, let's jump to after this thing is completely so we connected. Are good and updated. Uh, we got both devices showing. Uh, let's create a zone again. This is like, oh, create. There we go. Boom. All right, so now we are at, let's start out really low and crank this thing up, see what we sounding like. EQ is flat. All right. Uh, Firmware's up to date. We are connected to just the house, not the port. So it's cool. So it gives you the option whenever you do the, um, you want to airplay. This does support airplay too, of course. Um, so this is my iPad. Uh, it gives you your zone, or you can go straight to the port because you have a couple. A couple of inputs and outputs. You got optical, coax. Uh, you can do eARC for the TV, uh, or you can select just the power amp. So you can go either way. I created a zone, so it's going to play everything here. So we're connected to the zone. Go back to the app. Let's hit it one more time. Everything flat. No. Okay, that's because I'm playing it out of my files. I'm not actually playing because I'm trying to keep it copyright friendly. <laughs> See the volume. We're like three quarters of the way. That's all the way. And I got the slider all the way up. So these frequencies can do. Ooh. So, this works really good for So I'm curious So probably what I would do is set my master volume here for the whole house because each zone or each room has a, a volume control knob and that'd be a good way to, to, to way to manage it. So whenever they really want to crank it in the room, they got the headroom because it'd already be pushing there. Shout out 
shout out to the X-Men for that, that, that dope track. But uh, yeah, so this will work. Uh, I really want that. It was a proof of concept because I saw you could connect these things to Wi-Fi and uh, not need a actual uh, ubiquity head in. So basically like a Dream Machine or a Dream Machine Pro or the, uh, the what, wall, any type of uh, console that runs the, the UI system. So this is a standalone system running off of a Puck hotspot. So um, it's pretty good and you can see Nice and solid, and and uh, what did I drop? Oh, that was my uh, power strip because <laughs> the cables aren't that long. So, uh, anyway, that's it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. This is a quick and easy, a good one. And until next time, if you are in the market, you need some help with uh, some integrations. We have Lux integrations. Hit me up, bibs at luxintegrations.com, and. We could definitely get something going if you got a project coming up and you need a you need to spec you out a project. I can do all that. I can do all the designs and I can do the installs. So uh, until next time, guys, it's about that remote life. We are doing the things we love and loving the things that we do. We're out of here. Peace.